you ready? Hey, what's going on YouTube? This is Steve here with my good buddy friend Peter here. We're going to do a little deck profile. Here go, show. Bounce the deck. Bounce the deck. I compulse e the deck. Compulse the deck. That's Fuck sorry. Fuck the police. Fuck the police. Say it right. God damn it, man. Okay, let's just start this. <laughs> <laughs> you got uh, three Sombre, because it's fucking Sombre. Right? Like, if you have Constellas without Sombre, you're, you're wrong. You're wrong. Uh, three cows. Why? Because he's a magical centaur. And look at that. He's got like a mini cave. And later when we get to the extra deck, we're going to see like Kaos Evolve. <laughs> Kaos With the big cave. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's like Kaos, Kaos fucking Die Hard or some bullshit. Let the yes. Three Pollux puts in work. I've I've honestly played uh, Pollux Beatdown before. Pollux is the shit. Uh, no word. Uh, no puns either. No pun intended. No pun intended. No pun intended. Uh, Algidi. I like three. She gets the job done. She gets the job done. And opening with her and like fucking going into Shockmaster for his turn against Prophecies is... No. It's pretty fun. Uh, it's pretty good. Jordan. I like one. Sure, uh, I yeah. still like him as much as people hate him. It's because he's got big butt cheeks and this fucking small attack. I don't know why. He's a little... Still, he's still got good Sombre fodder. Still good Sombre fodder. So, yeah. honest because everyone's like... It's honestly the most broken card in the deck. Yeah. <laughs> I will absolutely kill you for that pun. <laughs> That's good. That's a good pun. Oh my god. Pun OP. Uh, two bear. Um, reason being, you bear, get tanky, you can search cows. And it's spot removal, which this deck really, it more bounces other than destroying things. So that's, yeah. spot removal is good. Uh, Trags. I like Trag. I mean, I haven't really got to use them in a good situation yet, but I still, Trag's still nice. And then my Tekton Grandmole, because it's compulse the deck. And Grandmole's awesome. <laughs> fucking awesome. He's fucking amazing. He's pretty sweet. Yep. Um, uh, also, I want to clarify this real quick, guys. Uh, to all of my subscribers, uh, if you guys don't know this by now, this is actually a condition, uh, not an effect. I.e., if this gets failure, Phoenix Chain, or anything like that, he you will still be he able to get the. Goes off like yeah, a you boss. still get the normal summon, which is really good and kind of fucked up on Konami's part. But oh. hey, what can you do? Another First thing that yeah. you guys need to know too is uh, Sombre. Same thing. If you go off, the second part is a condition. It happens. There's been you get another normal summon. There's been plenty and plenty of times where. In the situation where you try to actually get rid of both of those two, you cannot actually do it. When he first pulled out the deck, I was unsure what to expect with it. So if you don't mm -hmm. see them coming, you might not know what's happening. So take that into um, your mind and just yeah. be sure not to accidentally waste one of your cards yeah. on it. Try not to try not to blow your load on anything like this. Mm -hmm. Like bottomless this. That's fine. You can go ahead and bottomless this all day. But the secondary effect does happen. It is a condition. Same thing with Pollux, even if he you. Uh, essentially everything, unless he's warning or judgment, yeah, he can it, still go it off. it happens. Uh, okay, so that's all our monsters. Uh, how, how big is the monster count? Uh, look like 20? Yeah, it's, it's pretty big. <laughs> <laughs> just count for, right. for, just for Jesus' sake. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Jesus. Right yeah, it's fucking that's, huge. Right? That is pretty big. Oh, we well. play a lot of monsters. Well, it's because half of them derp themselves out, so fuck it. Derp is good. Uh, double tanky, because we run a tanky for each bear. Makes I sense. I'm a Firefist player. He taught me this shit. <laughs> Totes. Uh, only two MST. It's kind of falling out. It's not as good anymore, especially since half the shit in this format is just like, that's a nice back row you have there. It'd be a shame if it didn't work. If it didn't exist. <laughs> Unless you're playing against Evil Storm. Uh, got Monster Born, Dark Hole, and Heavy. They're just staples. Yep, the so, Holy Trinity and all that stuff. Uh, reinforcement. You gotta find that condition. Reinforcement. I find that Pollux. condition, and opening reinforcement and a tanky is just like... It's disgusting. It's, it's, God loves you. God loves you. <laughs> it's very like, overpowered. God loves you. Yep. Anyway, so uh, two Phoenix Chain. Okay. I don't run Valors, so the chain's actually really nice. Uh, it gets rid of annoying shit. If anything, Fiendish Chain is a lot better this for I mean, because it's yeah. just it's so aggressive and it really like well, it's, calm the fuck down. Yeah. That's basically calm, what it, it is. It's basically calm your shit. Calm your shit. Calm them tits. Calm them tits. Uh, double compulse. I like compulse. Compulse hurts. A lot of people don't <laughs> like compulse. Compulse does hurt. It, it's so nice when they're like Ophion. Draco Sack is no. not a problem. Yeah, Draco Sack <laughs> for this deck. Yeah, Draco Sack. A lot of people are like E Drags are scary. I haven't had that problem. It's like they drop it. No. Yeah. <laughs> uh, double mirror force. I like it. 
punish poor players, punish overly aggressive players. Yeah. Mirror it, Force is good. Uh, and it's also good against rogue decks, because a lot of people, like... Yeah, this I, deck this deck can handle a lot of the meta. It's just, there's just the meta. some tier 2 decks that it can really stand up against. Yeah. Uh, but, typically, big dick swingers, like uh, Agents... I can see this deck kind of not having such a good thing. Like, I pop Hyperion back. That's I fine. Have... It could just yeah, remove it'll just, again. It'll just go again. Yeah. Um, double D Prison. Uh, same reason that we run that. Uh, just the whole anti meta stuff. Hold on. No, we gotta have the Ultra up on top. I'll put the Ultra on top. The Ultra. The common is insignificant compared to the Ultra. It knows what it did. He knows what he did. Uh, double Bottomless. Bottomless uh, is good. Bottomless is good. Yeah. And then I have a Tarantula. And a solemn warning. I want these to be uh, Xyz Reborns. Uh, just because when we get to the extra deck, I'll explain. But for right now, the Tarantula and this have been putting in work. And a Starlight Road, because we have back row and we like protecting that. Mm -hmm. We don't like it when they take away our back row. Yeah. No, it's uh, like taking away our child. Oh, jeez. Yeah. Government it's not that bad. Government <laughs> took my baby. <laughs> government took my baby. Very apt description. <laughs> All right. Uh, now we'll go to our extra deck here. Uh, two right Consolar there. Omega. He is the bread and butter. He's so good. Uh, basically, you remove a material from him. During either player's turn, all Constellar monsters that are on the field currently are unaffected by spell traps. Yeah. He is a Forbidden Lance on legs. He's a Forbidden Lance on legs. And if you have an M7, when he's used up, you just drop M7 on it. Yes. Unfortunately, we don't have any M7s, so... We don't yet. Pretend that there's two M7s in this deck profile, guys. Yes. Eventually. M7 is OP as fuck. Uh, two press speed. He's just nice to have out with Omega, because if they got something big, and you're not really sure you can get over it, he's literally... He can honest himself. He remove a material during the damage step. So you can do it in some mm -hmm. step four when you would honest, read Lance, all that bullshit. Uh, you can literally swing over everything. He becomes a 3,400 beats. Yes. Yeah, good thing that I can actually show in that example. Um, I run Dark Worlds, and with that, whenever I try getting out Graf on the field, he'll just whip that out, throw materials. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah, swing right yes. over the top. Also, yeah. to, to kind of point this out, guys, a lot of the times you'll be able to derp out the Omega along with the Prispy. Yeah. Uh, uh, you, you can derp out Exceeds really, really hard in this deck, well, obviously. The reason being is uh, one good play that you can do right is if you have this and you've got any constellar in there you can go this into pollux into algidi which lets you special summon anything else so let's say we have a cows that's four you go omega first they try to do something remove material stop it go into press B. you just yep. you go nuts you go fucking nuts. you go nuts mm-hmm and this is, it's not obvious, obviously you're not going to open up with it unless you do, you do, uh, but you yeah. usually build into those hands. So. Yeah, you build into those hands, yeah. that's why we got I'm our gonna go yeah, go ahead and move these over here. Uh, two Pelides, because he'll make your opponent sweat in two turns or less. <laughs> <laughs> uh, during either player's turn, remove material, bounce something. Um, Compulse on legs. He's Compulse on legs. Another thing you can do is, this really cool I found with him, is you can, uh, let me see the star charts here. If you decide to run star charts, you can. I don't like it. Um, I've tested it. A lot of times it's dead, but it is kind of cool. Like it's, it's cool draw, because you can drop it before you make him. Go into him. right? Draw your card draw from your star card chart. From star chart. Bounce it. Play it again. Drop M7. Draw, draw again. again. So, you can choose to run it. You can choose to not. I don't yeah. know. I think it's too slow. Yeah, it's, personally. it's, it's pretty slow. Um, this is just basically stop the big guy. We don't like big guy. He's mean. He takes our shit. What doesn't stop it? But it's fucking it hilarious. Take, you take their big guy. It's <laughs> own effect. It's no, number sixty nine, by the way. If you guys don't know what he does, it's I'll read you the effect. It's when this card is special summon, negate the effects of all other face up exceed monsters on the field. Target one face up exceed monster your opponent controls until the end phase. This card's name and original effect become the same as that monster. So essentially, your opponent you have this. Your opponent has a big guy. You can activate his effect, copy the big eye, and then you can activate big eye effect via the heraldy crest, and then take a monster from their side of the field, and it's fucking hilarious. Usually, you want to take their big eye though, yeah, because that way they don't they don't take your stuff. Big eye is really popular in this format, but we gotta hurry it up. This is yeah, almost ten yeah. minutes. Yeah, it's it's almost huge. Uh, Shockmaster. Shockmaster is amazing. It's, it's Shockmaster. Any deck yeah. that can make Shockmaster first turn, it's good at this format. Yeah. Uh, 
Double Utopia. I, I don't really go into him. He's when the first kinda... condo breaks, it's good to have the second. Yeah, I mean, and there's been times when it's like, fuck, I really wish I had Utopia. I don't want to get rid of it. Mm-hmm. Uh, Volkasaurus. He's mean. He's, yeah, he's mean. <laughs> and Guy Knight, because he's fucking ridiculous, you Volkasaurus, he dropped this on him, you swing. That's yep. That's good Yu-Gi-Oh right there. It's great and then, Yu-Gi-Oh. because we have Starlight Road, Star Destroyer. Yep. So, so nice. that's it there, guys. All right. Rate, comment, and subscribe, and all that fun stuff. We will see you later. Bye-bye.